Yeah, his words per his words per minute, right? I'm the pretty, world I'm, record I'm, I'm, I'm the world record holder of my Mario teaches typing with my yo <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm not gonna lie, love Ignis's icon. I uh, hate his main. Yo, meet me in Type Racer. Money match me. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, type of the Dead? Typing was it of the Dead, Type yeah. of the Dead? Typing of the Dead, yeah. Let's get that on stream sometime. Anyways. It, anyways. Math? Um, <laughs> math typing? I will start a stream. I don't even have, like, a stream set up, but I will get one just to do that. Um, but we got Frozen versus Ignis. The pressure, though, already. 53%. 69! I was I was uh, mentioning earlier how Ignis just loved to run in and press buttons and uh, it's doing him well. We fit trainer already hard to deal with you know, outside of Wi-Fi. No, Jesus, no. Ignis just wow. running away with it. Well, and I think the first stock, especially with players who haven't played, because I don't think these two have played each other before, the first stock says and sets a tone so much on who you are and like how much I need to respect you. Like what tech do you have? How aggressive are you? How defensive are you? And I think Ignis just went ahead and let Frozen know this is how I play. Good luck. And it's, it's absolutely up to Frozen to be uh to like take that info and like understand how to counteract it. Cause he is he's getting pressured. He's getting real pressured. Oh, I'm just that Yo, barely. That kill? Detonation. Huh. Hmm. That's that's clean. I didn't know you could do that. Learn something new every day. Okay, Naren the dash tag, but missing the confirm. Interesting. That spike <laughs> to dash attack was actually kind of funny. Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> once you play Dignus long enough, you don't think you just, you just, just look at it and you're like, oh my god, I, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing, you know, those, those obscure characters, you get, you get a little bit more um, matchup knowledge, like little things you could do. Yo, I, I love Frozen trying to get that Nair into um, C4, and Ignis almost landing that soccer ball. Cypher into up tilt, though. Frozen already, like, turning the momentum around, though. He figured it out. Like, he, his adaptation to, to this is actually... I think Agnes just came out of the barrel just, you know, gunning for Frozen, and Frozen wasn't ready to deal with that aggression, and slowly over the course of this game, we just adapted. I think I'm also like you. Go ahead. Yeah, I was also going to say, it's like, I think it's also going to boil down to just how well, like, how well is Frozen handling, and, like, the deep breathing? Because honestly, that's where, like, he fits biggest strides are going to where he gets combos off deep breathing, and all of a sudden, you're at kill percent. And I think he's also doing a good job, like, once he does the deep breathing, that's when Frozen's tending to back off, uh, so he doesn't have to deal with those buffs from the speed and the damage. And, like, they can trade grenades, soccer ball, and sun all day, and it doesn't really bother him for that amount of time. But Ooh, they're not gonna do it just yet. Eager. Barley! Better make quick decisions. <laughs> good coverage there with the grenade. That forward air reverse hitbox, the, the spike hitbox, putting in so much work for Ignis right now. Oh no! He let he let go of Cipher too early. Oh no! Oh, is it? Yeah, is this best of five? This is best yes. of five. Yeah, I put it in um uh, in chat. Yo, that was a crazy match. Ignis trying yeah. to go in. Frozen trying to run away, not really working out at first, and then sort of, you know, easing his way into the match, and then at the very end just getting caught out. But I think if he starts this game with how he was playing this, the second half of that match, I think it's going to be a lot harder for Ignis to, to get the ball rolling. Yeah. And no, no pun intended there. Um... We'll, we'll say half these. Okay, okay, fair enough. Uh, I like the stage switch though, um, just because he doesn't have to worry about the crazy angles from soccer ball bouncing off the platforms. And I mean, it's it's zoner friendly, zoner heavy for both players, um, but it does give him less of worries in soccer ball covering his space. I'm actually gonna disagree with you. I think mm -hmm. this is a worse stage for this matchup as far as Snake goes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have as many platforms to get C4 on and, and cover as much base, right? Mm -hmm. And it, 
it gives him less options to land against um, Ignis. That's true. And Ignis isn't going to have any issues landing. That was bold. Run for it. Yeah, he's just doing it. Yeah, I, I could see. I could definitely see where you're coming from there. The worst thing oh. be way slower. Catching him with that nice. up smash on the roll. Yeah, that kid is so strong. Gonna catch that stock as well. He's not gonna be able to just deep breathing that far out. He will still get punished for that. Interesting, he decided to go for a grab out of the punish on get up instead of like a forward here. tilt. Forward tilt's so quick, I felt like that would have killed. But there you go, right there, getting it. Only taking 28%. Perks of having takes that kill, bro. He won't. Forward tilt kills, super <laughs> I was about to say, if he fully charges this forward smash, that's. that's Ignis really trying to get that early stock. Oh, and I love that. Picking up the grenade and running right at Snake. See what he does. Okay, Nair into up air. Ignis racking up some more percent with the soccer ball two into a fair. The strings keep coming. Oh, and Cypher knocking the bottom. Line. One thing to take note of is, um, like, when Ignis is charging up Sun Salutation, that thing has a wind box on it, so it's gonna, gonna make uh, getting grenades to cover his uh, landing options back to stage a little bit harder. Like, you can't just throw the grenade straight at uh, Ignis. He has to, like, put it in an arc so that way it hits his head. Oh, yeah, it's more so. Well, no, 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 because the Sun's wind box will even blow it away then, so if it's not timed right, even if it were to hit his head, the explosion will just be pushed away. Yeah, I know, I wasn't even thinking about that, but... <laughs> Not even yeah. mad, I mean, because Frozen with an insane ledge trap. I tried to get through ledge kill. trap on what damn up smash. Yeah, you said insane. I was like, no, this is, this just looks like snake. This looks like snake. Hey, you, you try to get up on ledge from uh, some buff dude spamming mortars at you. I mean, you know what? Fun. You tell me. Awful. <laughs> that is actually a threatening aura. Yeah, you tell me that's not insane. But I mean, this ledge pressure right now? Oh, the is this ledge guarding pressure right now? He's, ooh. That soccer ball literally saving Ignis from a uh, a missile to the face. The F tilt is not going to be safe against uh, Ignis's F tilt. Uh, oh no, F tilt. I'm not gonna lie, when Ignis oh, my oh my gosh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> Me too. No, oh, but that's but gonna do goes. it. Yeah. Side for extending the down air. Oh, Game two. We, this is still best of five, so. Looking at losers, uh, we got Fabian and the last dad vendor. Winner of that will have to play Javi in, uh, for top eight qualifier match. Pepsi Boy and Asper in top eight qualifier right now. Match and Mempire in top eight qualifiers. And then Raishi and Reem team playing to make uh, the top eight qualifier against a Walrus XYZ. So uh, Gummy, you know, somewhere getting knocked out early the high C, but we don't care about that no. right now. We're, st we're still looking at winners with the uh, Ignis and Frozen where Ignis took game two on this V-Bass yeah. stage. I was just about to say, so like, why do you think the Switch particular FP? Didn't even know it was a legal thing, but much less this is, is it gonna help him with wall techs? Nah, man. It, like, oh, um, all stages, right all FP is insane. Well, there's some that there's some that have walls on them, some that have different bottoms. Um, yeah, but... I th I think this has um, a little bit of a bigger like a, a like a deeper bottom than some FDs. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's just uh, you know personal preference. I think there's been a movement to sort of pick more bomb destinations and battlefields that aren't just the original ones. I think it's just these, or excuse me, uh, Frozen's preference. Okay. Also, Gummy's a winner, so. Oh, Gummy is a winner's side. I was looking for him. I couldn't find him. You're right. My bad, Gummy. Also, Frozen coming out swinging a whole lot harder in this uh, in this set, able to match Ignis's aggression. Don't sleep on Gummy, Gummy. <laughs> that is, please tell me that's a tagline. I hope that's. <laughs> it needs to be patent that. Yeah, you know, you're right though, Afi. Frozen definitely, you know, it's sort He's of fighting, fighting this fire man. with fire. Yeah. They are boxing right now. Um, and like in the middle of it, they're getting off like one off grenades and soccer balls, but then they're going back to close quarters combat. Right now, deep breathing on deck is definitely a kill percent. Ooh, bad. Oh, semi charged uh, sun salutation. I think Frozen's just like.
preemptively, you know, maybe autopilot and just press that, you know, grenade button off stage, just like usual, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. And uh, Ignis was ready with it, uh, with a, you know, sun salutation to catch it out. 3 0. Well,